Awesome. Super sick. Starship Flight 5 will launch on Sunday, much earlier than the FAA's previous declaration. So does the FAA agree? Find out everything in Tech Maps Today episode. The dream is coming closer than ever to reality. We probably won't have to wait until after the 2024 U.S. presidential election to hear about FAA approval for Starship Flight 5. It will happen much sooner than you can expect. Wow, no kidding. See this tweet from SpaceX on October 7th after its Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched the important ESA HERA mission ahead of the FAA officially authorizing Falcon 9 to return to regular operations. Starship's fifth flight test is preparing to launch as soon as October 13th, pending regulatory approval. So it means that Starship Flight 5 will be launching this weekend, doesn't it? If you're still skeptical, Elon Musk will confirm it. Launch could be as soon as Sunday. To add to the certainty, SpaceX updated it on its website, saying, Starship's fifth flight test could launch as soon as October 13th, pending regulatory approval. A live webcast of the flight test will begin about 30 minutes before liftoff, which you can watch here and on X Space X. You can also watch the webcast on the new XTV app. The launch window will open as early as 7 a.m. CT, as is the case with all developmental testing. The schedule is dynamic and likely to change, so be sure to stay tuned to our X account for updates. SpaceX also announced a schedule of road closures for flight testing with a prime primary date of October 13th from 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the alternative days, including October 14th and 15th, each from 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. Regarding this, many people expressed high confidence in the feasibility of SpaceX's timeline. As usual, SpaceX never announces anything on its official account and website without certainty, or at least, the authenticity of information must be high. Even the FAA's updated statement no longer mentions a late November target date, even though it doesn't directly agree with SpaceX's timeline. The FAA will make a licensing determination once SpaceX has met all licensing requirements, they wrote. This is different from the FAA's statement on October October 2nd, speaking out to reaffirms that the launch date of no earlier than November remains in place. This aims in response to the notice to mariners for Starship Flight 5, published on the same day, saying that the rocket launch operations scheduled near Boca Chica, Texas, will operate at the primary date of October 12, 2024, and backup dates listed for October 13, 18, and 19 from 7 a.m. to 8.10 a.m., and October 14, to 17 from 7 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. This suggests a potential launch window spanning about a week, with October 12th as the primary target. Later that same day, an X account called Space Sudor posted a photo showing reservations for NASA's WB-57 aircraft from October 13th to October 27th. This matches the schedule in the U.S. Coast Guard notice to mariners. At that time, a popular argument was that these launch dates were not yet published by the FAA. Without FAA approval, the anticipated launch is still uncertain. Bear in mind, ahead of Starship Flight 2, SpaceX and the FAA were in a heated battle over speeding up the FAA's launch licensing progress for Starship test flight. In my opinion, the tension at that time was no less than what we have seen today. As the situation worsened, threatening to push the launch date to next year out of the blue, SpaceX fired the public up by circling a date on the calendar. Starship is preparing to launch as early as November 17th, pending final regulatory approval, the company said on X, coming with a cool video. Finally, Starship launched a second time on November 18th, delayed a day to replace the grid fin actuator on the booster. In addition, this isn't the first time Elon Musk has had to deal with the FAA and its bureaucracy. Given years of experience dealing with sanctions and regulations, the billionaire is well aware of the consequences of his every action. As a man who became rich not through impulsiveness, he was wise enough to assess the current situation and then make smart moves. So how about you? Do you believe that Starship Flight 5 will be launching on Sunday? Let's comment, go Starship Flight 5 in the comment section below. If true, this would be an exciting development especially since preparations for Flight 5 are nearly complete. SpaceX says the rocket has been ready to fly since early August. 
Activity surrounding the full stack B-12 and S-30 picked up on October 7th when SpaceX teams performed another partial tanking test as part of the ongoing preparations for Flight 5 of Starship. At midnight of the same day, SpaceX conducted a double water deluge test, presumably simulating the two phases on launch day, one for the launch itself and one for booster landing. One day later, S-30 was destacked from B-12 for potentially final pre-flight preparations, including FTS flight termination system explosives installation. Just several hours after destacking, media captured a photo that may show the FTS installation underway. The Mechazilla's chopsticks, which will be catching the Super Heavy in the upcoming flight, have experienced several tests, and most recently the test of trolling with the structural weights. As early as the afternoon of October 4th, two clusters of orange bags appeared and hung on the two arms. Each cluster had three bags filled with water to simulate the mass of the rocket. By late afternoon, each side had two 100-ton bags and one 50 ton bag, creating a total mass of up to 500 tons, suitable for testing chopsticks' efficiency in catching the Super Heavy booster. When returning for a catch, Super Heavy's dry mass is 200 tons, and with some remaining fuel and movement impact, the total mass could approach 500 tons. During the test, Chopstick moved slightly under the impact, but everything remained stable. This successful test once again demonstrated Chopstick's capability. Subsequently, Elon Musk posted an ironic saying targeted at the FAA as quoted, just offering FAA news some tea. The fifth flight test of Starship will aim to take another step towards full and rapid reusability. The primary objectives will be attempting the first ever return to the launch site and catching the Super Heavy booster and another Starship re-entry and land burn, aiming for an on-target splashdown of Starship in the Indian Ocean. To make that possible, SpaceX said, extensive upgrades ahead of this flight test have been made to hardware and software across Super Heavy, Starship, and the launch and catch tower infrastructure at Starbase. SpaceX engineers have spent years preparing and months testing for the booster catch attempt, with technicians pouring tens of thousands of hours into building the infrastructure to maximize our chances for success. The company said they accept no compromises when it comes to ensuring the safety of the public and our team, and the return will only be attempted if conditions are right. Thousands of distinct vehicle and pad criteria must be met prior to a return and catch attempt of the Super Heavy booster, which will require healthy systems on the booster and tower and a manual command from the mission's flight director. If this command is not sent prior to the completion of the boost back burn or if automated health checks show unacceptable conditions, with Super Heavy or the tower, the booster will default to a trajectory that takes it to a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Elon Musk excitedly confirmed that on X, as quoted exactly. Simultaneously, he emphasized that Starship's operational launch tower would take charge of this special mission if all systems are working well. During the catch, the returning booster will slow down from supersonic speeds, resulting in audible sonic booms in the area around the landing zone. Generally, the only impact to those in the surrounding area of a sonic boom is the brief thunder-like noise with variables like weather and distance from the return site determining the magnitude experienced by observers. Starship will fly a similar trajectory as the previous flight test, with splashdown targeted in the Indian Ocean. This flight path does not require a deorbit burn for re-entry, maximizing public safety while still providing the opportunity to meet SpaceX's primary objective of a controlled re-entry and soft water landing of Starship. One of the key upgrades on Starship ahead of the flight was a complete rework of its heat shield, with SpaceX technicians spending more than 12,000 hours replacing the entire thermal protection system with newer generation tiles, a backup ablative layer, and additional protections between the flap structures. This massive effort, along with updates to the ship's operations and software for re-entry and landing burn, will look to improve upon the previous flight and bring Starship to a soft splashdown at the target area in the Indian Ocean. With each flight building on the learnings from the last, testing improvements in hardware and operations across every facet of Starship, SpaceX is on the verge of demonstrating techniques fundamental to Starship's fully and rapidly reusable design. By continuing to push its hardware in a flight environment and doing so as safely and frequently as possible, the company will rapidly bring Starship online and revolutionize humanity's ability to access space. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.